kill it for me. <laughs> that I've never seen this movie. So I have no idea what any of these references are. <laughs> so, like a good modern attraction, the queue is show. The sets here are pretty nice. You know, they're using here as we make our way through the queue. It's a very meandering back and forth queue as we make our way through all the different apartments and, uh, you know, in the, in the universe. Oh, it's a kid's room. Very well done. Oh, wow! It's like a never-ending stream of puppies! Are we sure these aren't just the same puppies from before? No way! I'm saying we can't tell. It's not like they have collars. <gasps> That means they don't have homes! Okay, well, maybe Snowball could help them get adopted. Yeah, he does this kind of thing all the time. And it usually works out fine. Okay, that's, that's really enjoyable. I, I, that's cute. The pets are cute. The big dog is cute. The voice is cute. I enjoy that. And it's a nice little diversion while you're in here in the queue. Welcome to the treat spot. Do I get a treat? Oh my, no! It's like YouTube well, for... Now it's time to discuss huh? a very serious topic. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing funny about poop. Especially in my... Kind of reminds me of Rocket from uh, Mission Breakout. They're cardboard boxes. That's adorable. They're pizza boxes. Oh my god, I'm gonna go for a ride in a pizza box. Oh, that's a pizza box. This one is a toy car. I don't know what that one is. This is fantastic. I have to know if that's a reference in the movie. I will forget about you by tomorrow. I'm sorry about that. It's just, you know, I have a lot going on in my life and you're not really my priorities. <laughs> I'm a dog. So that's it. We're dogs then? I get it. That's very clever. Oh my God, that's wonderful. Remember to listen to Snowball, which is something I never thought I'd say. Okay, good one, guys. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh,
Secret Life of Pets just got done. Uh, thoughts, fantastic. What a great dark ride that is. Beautifully done, well executed. Uh, it's, I mean, it, it feels like the movie come alive, which is the way it should be. Um, it's a definite involvement in the dark ride. Uh, it's not, it's not super tech, although there are many really cool moments of tech. I really enjoyed uh, that the the dog that you are follows you. you that's, that's really neat. Uh, the fire scene at the end was fantastic, uh, but a, a lot of practical effects too, the animatronics, really cool, really good, well lit, well done, longer than I was expecting. They really give you quite a bit of bang for your buck, I mean, it, it, the queue was a bit of a slog, it was, a, it was slow going inside the queue, there were moments where we were just stopped and stood there for like five minutes. I could, I could see myself doing that over and over. That is kind of, for me, it's almost the perfect medium of being a traditional dark ride, like the class, like, you know, Peter Pan or Alice in Wonderland, but not too, they didn't go too far. You know, they didn't take it too far either. It's like in the middle somewhere, which is what I wanted. I've always said, I want to keep things as practical and as basic as possible, mix in a little tech. That's what they've done at Secret Life of Pets. I, almost, I feel bad that I haven't seen the movie. I feel, I feel like now I need to go see the movie. Now, one bit of advice, this is crucial. If you want to ride Secret Life of Pets, get here early, get yourself a virtual queue spot. You can pick a time, it doesn't have to be within the next hour. You can come in, you know, between now and closing. Uh, but get yourself a virtual queue because they'll, they'll sell out fast. I got mine at around noon, uh, and it was for 3.30. By the time I came back around, they were gone. Uh, and that's the only way you can ride. You can't ride this. You can't ride. There's no standby. So you have to do that, first of all. <laughs> but do it early, I guess is what I'm saying. And one final note. I am a sucker for dark rides. You guys know this. I love dark rides. And I really appreciate, I really appreciate Universal. This actually kind of made my trip, that ride, in the sense that Universal has, for me, it's been about all about screens. I don't, I don't enjoy Universal as much as I as I want to, because I can't do, you know, the uh, you know screens on rides. And this had some. There's a few, but not a lot. Uh, but this is. I love that they went ahead and they went the other way with it. Uh, they they took it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Universal. You validated my decision to get an annual pass for Universal. I really appreciate. It. Now, hopefully. They continue that if they're good, if they're doing an expansion, which I think they are for Harry Potter Town. Hopefully, they do another small a small ride like that. Well, guys, I decided to take the show over to the Three Broomsticks over in Harry Potter Town, which is incredibly fake. I, I don't know. If, I'll, I'll, I'll do a pan after this and drop it in here, but there's no. I've walked right into here. There's no way at all. It's empty. It feels like it's going out of business. <laughs> this is Harry Potter Town. This is Three Broomsticks. But the effect of Jurassic World and Secret Life of Pets is drawing all the guests there. But incredibly, though, a lot of guests were still being drawn to the tram. That was still an hour plus. Anyway, um, I got myself some dinner. I got myself uh, the uh, bangers and mash, which I've had before and I very much enjoy. Got your bangers. 
you got your mash, you got your uh, green or your uh, peas. Looks like a, some sort of a grilled tomato, and uh, it's delightful. I was expecting to be more reflective. Outside of that first moment I had out in front of Jurassic World, I, I haven't really felt that today. You know, reflective considering the circumstances, considering this is the first theme park to open in over a year. I was not prepared for how slow things uh, things are here. Or at least the rides that they did. Like Transformers is a walk on but Jurassic World, Tram, and Pets were all torturous with the cues. And, you know, like normally that's a thing. I'm like, I'm fine with, I'm fine with, you know, waiting in line. That's part of that's cost of business. But it's just, I guess maybe I don't have my my park legs on me or something like that. But I've just noticed it more than I ever have before. Just how excruciating sometimes the standing and the waiting. You know, there's a um, there were moments of sickness like the pets where I was just sitting there standing, just standing there. It's a it's an omnimover. <laughs> it's an omnimover. A lot of downtime on Secret Life of Pets. It just it, it, it was interesting how quickly everything came back to normal. Surprisingly normal. It is. Like, just standing in lines, waiting for an attraction, and then you go on to the next thing. And what they are doing now, everything everything new that they're doing now has been great. Gotta give it that. Everything new. But it doesn't have the same sort of, you know, everywhere you look type of theming where you you're constantly feel like you're at Disneyland. One thing I definitely want to give Universal is that they are trying really hard. Uh, they are not glossing over any of this, you know, the, uh, the the cleanliness aspects of this. They, I, we have been required to uh, to sanitize our hands. The, the the cast member, whatever you want to call them, to sanitize our hands for you before you board your vehicle. Every attraction that I've been on so far, they've done that. Uh, so I appreciate that. I'm just shocked though, as I, as I walk to I'm just shocked at how few people are here. I was expecting this to be the most popular place to be anywhere in, uh, in, in Universal Studios. You know, in spite of uh, <clears throat> Secret Life of Pets being a thing, Jurassic World, you know, having the new animatronics, you can make that argument, but the tram, dude, the tram, the tram was packed. Packed, I tell you. Are you suggesting to me, that, or are they, <laughs> that the tram is more popular than Harry Potter Town? I think not. That's Hogwarts Castle back there behind that wait time board. And I don't know if you can see that number, but that says 20 minutes for Forbidden Journey. 20 minutes. This guy right here is five. It's short enough that I think I might even just, just walk on here. Look at that, five minutes. I was not planning, I was planning to skip Harry Potter Town because I had spent so much time at the other attractions that I didn't think I would have time for this. But I mean, how can I? I'm standing right here in five minutes. It's a walk on. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Okay, so <laughs> they didn't let me film. I was going to, but they said, no, you can't film. Uh, but just to understand and know that I handled that whole situation, it's not even been five minutes since I walked right past that cast member there uh, less than five minutes ago. I thought about doing, uh, you know, Forbidden Journey, but you can't film that either. And uh, I'm running out of time. And I think I want to close out my visit here by going to Duke's, Honey Duke's. This is the best candy shop in the entire world. And Honey Duke's it is. You know, the one time I've been to Honey Duke's, it was wall to wall people in here. The most crowded thing I've ever seen. Let me get my light right. I've never, I felt never, I've never felt more like my space invaded when I was in here last. But this is positively delightful. Ooh, you know, I still have never had every flavor beans, sweet crystals. Who doesn't love a good fudge fly, huh?
Huh? Jill never had a chocolate frog either. Cookies and cream fudge, butterbeer fudge. Look at that, that's a cauldron cake. It's just like pure frosting that's fire. You know, I'm a little surprised actually, that's, that's it. I, I, I get it though. You gotta have a limited menu and a limited opening so they can't have this thing full of stuff. But I was, <laughs> I guess I was expecting more. I really should though, right? I mean, I really should. It's, there's eight people in here, uh, so they can't fill it up. It's, you know, it just, oh my God, Honeydew, some of that stuff that we tried. You know, I may still get some of that butterbeer or fudge, but they have some amazing stuff in that chest. And I may have to get me one of these Honeydew's coffee mugs, because why not? An unfortunate casualty with the common touch. No fizzy whizzies or pineapple cubes, or pear drops or sweet and sour drops, or jelly babies, or sherbet lemon, or raspberries and blackberries, all of them unavailable. Remember to frequently wash your hands That's with soap and water. Inside of here is this lovely Honey Duke's box. Is one cube of delicious butterbeer fudge. Come on, baby. Look at that. You do know how good this is? You know how long that's going to take us to eat that? And that's it guys, it's six o'clock. I can't believe we did the whole day. We did 10 to six, it's six o'clock, they're kicking us out. That's the hours right now for Universal, it's 10 to six. Um, I had a good day, I had a good day. I'm looking forward to coming back. There are, one thing I will say, one thing I've noticed, especially when I was over there at Pets, there is a lot of this park that I have not explored. Uh, all my focus has been on the same few things each time I come down here, Harry Potter Town, the tram. Uh, but there's a lot of parts of this park that I have not yet explored that I'm looking forward to, to giving a little bit more attention. There are things in here that I have not seen or done at all. Maybe even, who knows, maybe I'll even try out Springfield again. Uh, but I'm looking forward to future trips. Hope you guys are too. Uh, coming up next, our next trip is actually going to be Disneyland. Disneyland on April 30th is our next theme park day. We're going to come back the next day on, on May 1st for uh, DCA. And then after that, it is, I think we're taking the week off after that. Oh no, Knott's. Is that right? I can't remember anyway. We got Knott's, we got Disneyland, we got Universal. It's all happening. Hope you guys enjoyed the show today. I know it's a little bit weird. I feel rusty. I feel like I don't really know what I'm doing or what kind of show I want to do. A little rusty, but you know what? The, the bottom line is, the good news is, is that we're back at theme park today. I'm vlogging at the theme park. And that feels pretty natural to me. I really enjoyed making show for you guys today. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Be safe out there, everybody. Be kind to one another. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Bake and on Twitter at Fresh Bake Disney. That's special to me. Did I say be kind to another? Be kind to one another, you guys. I love you guys. We'll see you next time. Fresh Bake.